Good morning, everyone. I'm Mary with Mary Greenlee News. Thank you for joining me. The day before yesterday, I talked about how the ring of fire was just a rockin' and a rollin'. Well, today, there was a magnitude 6.1 earthquake near Vanuatu. This was a very deep earthquake, 107.7 kilometers in depth. So this would be about 73.4 or a half miles in depth down there where we have subduction of the Pacific Plate shrinking, which is the largest ocean in the world. It's sliding underneath all these microplates that I described in that video uh, and slowly um, shrinking because of the movement of the Australian Plate slowly moving north. Using Google Earth, here we have the Pacific Plate, and here we have all those microplates, and here we have the Australian Plate. And I'll zoom in to the location of that earthquake. You notice the direction of these plate movements. We got the Pacific Plate moving uh, west, and we got the Australian Plate moving north. And we'll move into the location of this earthquake. Right there, 6.1. Here we got the North Fiji Fracture Zone. We got spreading. That's where the X is at. Um, here we got the Australian Plate going, uh, oh, kind of northeast. We have the Trench here. The New Herbies Trench. It's actually divided up into several different names. We got New Catadonia. And let's see here. Let's move up over here to some of these other islands. About 245 miles away at New Caledonia, there was reports from one person saying they were laying on a small bed near the city center. It clearly felt like a vibration that seemed distant, but not long enough. Another one here says it lasted about five seconds. Another report from New Caledonia says uh, they felt it there, um, and I'm not going to try and pronounce the name of the city. Going back to Google Earth, here's the location of that town, and I'll zoom out and show you where that earthquake occurred. All right, right there. There's the 6.1 New Caledonia. Numea, I'm going to try and pronounce it, is the capital of New Caledonia. They have a population of about 100,000 people as of 2014. Being such a deep earthquake, there would not have been a tsunami, tsunami warning. And I'm going to zoom out, show you this area that's detached from, see that white line? That is an area that was originally a part of Australia that has detached and is slowly moving uh, northeast. In 2016, there was a magnitude 7.2 earthquake. Now that was on August 12th. And then also in the same location, uh, there was a 6.2 last year, September 6th of last year, 2020. Now this one here, like I said, it was on uh, 2016, the year. On this map here, in the last month, there has been 94 earthquakes of magnitude greater than a 4.5. Most recent posted by USGS is a 5.0 near Tonga, uh, 10 kilometers in depth. Um, also today, there was a magnitude 5.2 earthquake near Kermatic Islands. Now, that one was also deep. That was 337.5 kilometers in depth or about 209 miles in depth and this is the earthquake the 6.3 that i reported that occurred um the day before yesterday but it has it for the seventh because they're a day ahead of us yeah that was deep 224 kilometers in depth or 124 miles in depth and then there was a 4.8 and this is, here is the 6.3. That's actually the earthquake that I reported uh, the day before yesterday. Yeah, again, 224 miles in depth. And everything, all the earthquakes are measured, 
around the world from sea level. As I stated, the uh, Pacific Ocean, which is the largest ocean in the world, is slowly shrinking. Here we got it going, um, subsiding underneath uh, towards the uh, e uh, west, excuse me. And then here we got um, the North American plate um, swallowing it up as the North American plate slowly moves southwest. And you ever notice how we have a lack of large earthquakes along the west coast of the United States? Well, it's just a matter of time. Here on um, the 29th of December, there was a magnitude 5.7. 10 kilometers in depth off the coast of Oregon. Yeah, I'm still working on my first morning cup of coffee. Now, you might find this interesting where this earthquake occurred or close to where it occurred. New, the uh, New Hebrides plate or the Neo Hebridean uh, plate is a minor tectonic plate located in the Pacific Ocean near the island nation of Vanuatu. See, it's a minor tectonic plate the small plate. The plate is bounded on the southwest by the Indo-Australian plate which is subducting below it. The New Hebrides subduction zone is extremely active producing over 20 earthquakes of a magnitude 7 or higher in just the past 25 years. This is what they call a micro plate in this area here where I have the hand. And then a little bit oh uh, south east, we got what's called the Conway Reef Plate, which is another detached section. Because of the spreading rate that's going along over here, which is about 50 millimeters a year, and it's less over here by the Fiji Islands, as slow as 20 million millimeters a year, um, this area here is doing a counterclockwise rotation of this small microplate. Like I said, there's a lot of microplates in this location, and there's a lot of activity going on because of them. And with the increase of the rocking and the rolling going on with the ring of fire, the movement of the continents, we're going to see a lot more of this happening. This is only the eighth day of the New Year's, and look at all the earthquakes that we've had just since the beginning of the New Year. And there is going to be more to come. But anyways, that's all I have for you right now. If you have thoughts or comments or questions, please put it down below. Thank you for watching. Um, thank you for subscribing. Please stay safe, and I'll talk to you later. God bless you all. Bye.